Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at another first look review on a Rock Island Armory revolver called the AL 9.0. And the 9 stands for 9mm. It's a 9mm revolver that carries 6 rounds in the cylinder. Now, my comfort level with revolvers is 38 Special 357 Magnum, and that's what this is. I reviewed this a couple weeks ago. It's a Rock Island Armory AL 3.1. And many people liked it. You know, you, you can see that it does have some nice qualities. These two guns have some similarities and differences. But I like that 38 Special, so it makes you ask yourself, why would somebody want a revolver chambered in 9mm? Well, many people like their firearms to share a co common caliber. That's quite common, where they say, you know, I've got a semi-auto, I've got a carbine, all in 9mm. I want that revolver in 9mm. For that reason, it's also less expensive and extremely light recoil, especially with a, a big hunk of steel like this. So that's why I think a lot of people would like it. Plus, it's, it's a lot of fun. I took it to the range already. It shot extremely well. Now, it does carry six rounds, and it does have moon clips available so that it can be easily ejected when the eject the cases but when i brought this to the range i forgot the moon clips and so i was pretty pleased though because even though the ejector did not grab a hold of the case all i had to do was shake this uh cylinder and then the cases went flying out but let's take a look at that cylinder because it's a little odd look in there all right made for those moon clips to be inserted which could also be used as a speed loader by the way you put this in your pocket like this and it's you know those rounds are they should not pop out of the moon clip but anyways here it is it, it shares some common common features with the 357 model first off you can see the grip all right does have those bumps on there that are they're pretty nice they're not aggressive the rubber grip, slight finger grooves, it does have a nice feel, and that's one thing I really liked about that was that grip. It tames some of that 357 recoil. Not worried too much about that with this, but it is comfortable. Three-inch barrel, really raised up front sight with an orange insert and adjustable rear sights, which is nice, especially compared to that tunnel sight. You know, and these are, they're, they're similar, but... This is a snub nose, all right? This is, you know, a good carry gun. I don't know how many people that would carry this. they take it to the range, maybe stash it in the truck, uh, you know, put it on the nightstand. Those would all be decent ways to use this revolver. You see that it does have a full underlug there, shrouded ejector rod, already showed six rounds in the cylinder, and the double action trigger pull is a pretty standard double action revolver trigger pull. It's, it's right around 11 to 12 pounds, but the single action, the website says four to six and a half pounds. I am measuring just a hair over four pounds, quite consistently. Short little pull there, just over four pounds. You can see it does have the transfer bar safety right there. And there's your hammer, spurred hammer. Definitely does the trick well. If we look at the internals, We'll see that, you know, you got your firing pin here, the timing hand, <clears throat> and the bolt stop right there. And there's the yoke. We got the ejector. Simple setup, chambered in 9mm. And I know a lot of people, they are on the 9mm train. And some people would say that I am too. You know, it's like, oh, hey, yo, you feature a lot of 9 millimeters. Well, <clears throat> I've been featuring a lot of 357s lately, and I certainly enjoy it. Here is the unloaded weight, 2 pounds, 1 and 7 eighths ounces. We move that to just ounces, 33 and 7 eighths ounces. But here we have some self-defense loads and a speed loader or a moon clip. And the loaded weight with 6 rounds, 36 and 1 quarter ounce. So that's what you're looking at with this AL 9.0. It's a nice revolver. It's certainly quality made. It's made in the Czech Republic, right? Both these are. 
and another one, by the way. Keep your eyes open for another one. Rock Island is is getting these in. They're getting in, them in from the Czech Republic. A lot of people feel confident with that. And this was a nice shooter. This was a nice shooter. And keep your eyes open for another one coming in. But this is the one featured today. It's a first look review called the RIA AL 9.0. That's a mouthful but it certainly feels comfortable and a well shooting handgun at the range. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.